Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we do some more RTA. Even though we do have GVG available, last GVG is gonna linger until we get bored of it. <laughs> Today I skipped the upload, so we're not gonna do GVG versus, well not versus, <laughs> GVG after GVG, uh, back to back, we're not doing that. So we're going to jump into RTA before we decay and we're gonna try to have some funsies in the onesies. I don't really know uh, from this past couple days how the meta shifted or or whatnot, right? But I still, I still think uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try out Arya. I mean, Arya's been fun. We want to see the extent of how OP she is, and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, like I always say, you always have to draft double, um, double debuffers, or you're not gonna have fun in the game. So we kind of, we, we kind of have to pick those two first, and then we can start drafting, and that's the real deal. All right. So from here on, uh, he's contesting speed and he does have Huayong there. Uh, it's still very safe to pick uh, Arya here. And that's a very Gucci Ducci thing. And I keep forgetting, she's already awakened and fully fully enhanced. Um, against this type of comp, a Violet wouldn't hurt, man. A Violet wouldn't hurt. Because right now it looks like a Huayong ban. Even though uh, Arya is pretty good against her, uh, it does look like a Huayong ban. Now it no longer looks like a Huayong ban, now it looks like something else of a ban, but for my good, or for my, from my experience, I think we are Gucci Ducci, Ducci Wucci. Actually, I don't think we're that good. <laughs> well, let me, I'll, let me take it back, I don't think we're that good. Uh, I am going to go for the mitigation. Um, if we let the Huayong through, we'll just have to deal with it, huh? Okay, I'm going, I'm going like this. This is going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. But there's basically no speed contest here, right? But I also have no speed contest. So I'm going to have to sacrifice someone to Huayong. So it's all going to be ban dependent. This, is a, this, this one is not looking too good. Double debuffers on this one, <laughs> for the first time, wasn't that good. Never mind. Turns out it was okay. All right, I think... I think, unless the Huayong is super... F I fucking didn't set up the, the the guy properly. Yep, he's in the back. Yep, he's in the back. <laughs> There's no mitigation. Oh, yeah. Right, without attack buff, can can he can he kill? No. Without, without attack buff, it cannot kill, which is good. Which means I am going to push her. Because the, the, the third order here is actually pretty good for me, so we're taking that. I'm gonna push her, and I'm gonna make everybody go Haya, I go Shidensu. Not Shidensu, uh, Sterthu, Sterthu. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, man. All right, it's gonna proc her, but we're gonna be mostly okay with that because uh, she, she could already S3, right? We just have to disable her from here. And it could be pretty good if we just go super heavy on her. Right, hopefully we strip and push back, and that's gonna mean we, we don't even have to take the damage from uh, from that little queen. We stripped, I don't think we pushed back, but... Ooh, goes for the Hail Mary. That's just gonna kill herself. This is good. This is pretty good for us. There it is. Now we just get to do our thing. <laughs> Honestly, this is going pretty well. Because things already been proc, right? So... It's only death that expects us now. And this is why Tanky Violet is so OP. We're still not out of the blue here, remember, because uh, this uh, this uh, Aravi hasn't uh, S3'd yet. Oh, but she got reset one turn, so we don't have to worry about her for now. We just go for the Hua Hua. She's gonna go for the Vai Vai, but if she goes for the Vai Vai, he's, uh, he, he's got a good chance of countering, but he didn't. <laughs> he had a good chance of countering, but he didn't. All right, now we hit the now we now we hit the both of them. There it is. She's on proof, so we can definitely control her. Control her with the um, with uh, with the with the boy in the back. Does the violet not evade? Jesus, Jesus. Okay, can he kill someone from here? I made a mistake. Maybe I should have just burned there. Will she have enough to kill everybody? 
And will I have enough souls to get away from it? Yeah, I'm definitely start. Uh, sh I'm definitely, I'm definitely shifting my. Uh, <laughs> I'm shifting my thing here. All right, we're gonna protect both of them, and we're gonna do our AOE because uh, this S3 will give us two uh, of the solely souls, which is gonna kill the Huayang, which is good, and hopefully heal us enough so we're not within uh, killable range. All right, with Miss Chen's debuff and this fat stun. That should conclude this fight. And I think it does. Yeah, it definitely does, because there's no cleansing here, so... It's just a gege. Very nice, very... Honestly, it was a little bit sloppy, but in the end, we, we turned out okay, so we keep going. Alright, second opponento. Honestly, that fight went pretty well. But overall, Ari is just really fun, right? Just a very fun unit. Uh, let's see what we do. On this one, I'm gonna draft Mitigation first pick, because honestly, it never goes wrong, right? A Fest throws that never goes wrong, because he's a CR pusher, he, he brings like the best Mitigation you can have for a single target unit, so we're doing that. Alright, a Ravi first Piku. I'm kind of wondering why we're not seeing those, uh, those, those Omega cleansers right now. I'm kind of worried about it too. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. Let's go, let's go. Honestly, right now Judge Kizzy seems like a good pick. And then I can go for some shenanigans, but as of now, yes, Judge Kizzy will screw those three three units up, so I think we're gooch. I am quite confused here. What's he expecting to happen here? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for that Fet Arya as well, because Ari is just, just OP and strong. We always want OP and strong in our team. All right, we're going for OP and strong, and then we don't want to take uh, any barriers in. But I also don't want to deal with possible stealths from uh, from that artifact on uh, Opsig. So I, yeah, I'm just gonna draft her because I think overall she does well into this. I'm kind of confused. Like even even if it's fast Opsig, right? Like there isn't much of a speed contest. Very confused, man. Very, very confused. But we'll see. We will see. I mean... That's that, right? I'm just gonna ban the, the really impossible to deal with unit, right? No, I already accepted. I guess Millium in the back is not the worst, right? But uh, Arya in, in the back would be the best. But I already fucked it up. <laughs> I always I always spam start, man. I forget. But either way, it's not the guy in the back. At least that. Ooh, Perlusha is gonna fuck me up in this. <laughs> Guess who didn't die? Guess who didn't die? Honestly, this is pretty huge for me. I think I'm gonna push the Arya just to protect things because like uh, I don't have to have Milim right now with uh, with her turn I'm just gonna make sure uh, Arya gets her her shit through because that's the most important because now there's no choice that he can make right and uh, well now it doesn't matter that we if we put a barrier up because uh, we're gooch so fast opsig didn't have enough damage Honestly, I'm kind of surprised. Maybe she missed or something? Maybe. There's a billion counters that will come out of this. Like, this is definitely not a smart move. Because uh, it could possibly trigger like three counters. There it is. Four counters. One counter. Two counters. Three counters. Four counters. <laughs> like I said, uh, probably doesn't bring out the best. We're gonna put immunity up so no one gets reset. That's the main idea here. And now that should 100% deter her from S3. I don't think she would S3. I hope she doesn't S3. It really is not smart. S3 will mean AoE, which will mean strip. Well, actually, everything will mean AoE that will mean strip because everyone's stealthed up. So we just have to farm some souls and make sure everybody's alive. There it is. 
Now we go. I want to go hard on that backline unit, but she's gonna. She's not gonna die. So I think I'm just gonna go for some CR. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. No, I am. I am. I'm gonna kill the opposite. Get some CR. Unfortunately, it was on, it was on the one unit in the front. Uh, I guess I don't want to burn, but he doesn't crit, so there it is. No need to burn. Now she will have to S3, mostly because she wants that cleanse gone, right? But that's gonna proc more uh, counters, which could mean that it could go on her in the back, and that's gonna be bad for him. Okay, now she doesn't have to go for the, the for the girl anymore, but I still think we're pretty good here. Okay, safe safe choice. Honestly, he can kill me here if he gets one of those lucky dust devils. It could happen. Oh, unlucky. That counter right there probably put you in some trouble. Definitely did. Definitely did. Alright, I think it quits now because I don't think there's a play. Yep, there's no play there. <laughs> hey, another fat juicy W for the boys. Let's go next. Next opponent. Here we go. It's been pretty good so far. Let's make it even better. We're, we're, we're racking up a pretty good win streak. Let's go. All right. Is this one going to be the one where we have debuffs on? It should be. It's, it's been two matches without any debuffs. I am kind of worried about this. I'm going to go for the Kakarek. And I think I'm going to go for an early Arya. Maybe I can get a snazzy wazzy Violet pick against me. And that's gonna change some things up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open up with Arya on this one. Hopefully they pick Violet. But by the speed of that pick, this man has already like picked in his brain. It's okay. Never mind. It did, it did pick good. It picked good. I'm gonna go for the Millim just for the for the Violet the, the, the deterring because right now that unit is kind of top priority to, to get rid of. You know, don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I do not want to deal with that. Ren would be a pretty solid pick here, but but there's a but. He's gonna feed Landy really hard, so I do need to go for a for a secondary support unit. I mean, I guess I guess Trozit's never never a bad choice, man. I'm kind of locked to using Trozit nowadays. I really I really like uh, the CR push uh, potential because I built him fast, right? He's a 235 plus speed, so I I want him to be a CR pusher mostly. That's a lot of soul weavers. And a lot of mitigation for one Landy. That Landy really has to carry on this. I think I need to bring more threats. Because, yeah, I, I kind of have to. So, do I go against the Revive? I don't have a lot of time, actually. I think I'm going to go for the Violet. Because I think my, my, my Violet can go pretty hard against these Soul Weavers. Because if they try to push the match into High, uh, into high Frenzy, we're just going to have a good time. Okay, right, let's put her in the back, Violet in the front. I mean, Violet in the front doesn't matter, but... Actually, we'll, we'll do that because uh, the tank is supposed to go in the front. Either way, uh, it seems like it's going well on this one. There's only one threat. It's all going to depend on how OP and how alive they can keep this, uh, this girl. But I think it's going to be hard overall to keep her alive. Okay. What is the play here at first? I think it's going to be protecting Arya's HP, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to provide a shield to my team so I can mitigate a little bit of the damage. Like in terms of buffs, she already is, she's already going to have enough to have her stacks, and she doesn't have soul burn, so we can add up on it because she's just going to go S3, right? And because she's fast and she's 10k HP, it kind of means that we can we can kind of open up fine with it. As long as our as we get our Violet protected, we should be mostly okay in this match. Remember, uh, it's going to be inevitable to get our Arya AoE. Because she's going to have to AoE here, and that's basically going to make it so when Arya gets her next turn... Oh! Does not want to go for that AoE. Understandable. I mean, I can just, uh, I can just do him dirty right here, right? That's that dirty doing. He's going to have to protect her with S3 right now. Otherwise, he's going to expect her to die from Violet. He doesn't go for the S3. Another counter. Fat CR push for the boys. 
All right. As long as we get our, our violets stacked up, uh, even against the land, you will have uh, we'll have a pretty high success rate. It's only a 10k HP uh, landy. Ooh, that's rough, dude. Okay, those are the dual attacks I don't want. I think we'll be okay on this fight, even without those. And those kind of worry me, because I can definitely burn here. And I, honestly, I am because I don't think uh, I, I don't think I'll need the. Okay, that's obnoxious. Okay, that's obnoxious. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, guy. I'm really sorry. I know you're gonna revive Landy and all, but I'm kind of sorry. That's a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much. Those double dual attacks, a little bit too much. Especially because it was Arya, right? He helped her stack a bit faster than uh, than she should have stacked. All right, she gets revived. Not enough stacks to S3. Actually, I thought it would be enough. That's super unlucky, guy. Like that's that's actually super young, super unlucky. This man has been countered so many times. I guess I guess Banshee gaming is what's uh, it's what's up right now. I mean, it's not it's really not looking good because if, even if somehow this Landy like manages to go through stuff here, right? It's really gonna suck overall. More counters, unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky, just, just awfully unlucky because uh, this should kill, even through a miss, because it's attack buff Violet. No, I guess he just quits because, because uh, it's kind of, it's kind of over, man. Unlucky, man. <laughs> like I don't know what to say in this match. I really feel bad. I want to rejoice, right? Because victories are victories, right? Look at this! This man is cursed! What did you do to deserve this, Bubba? Like, is this man a serial killer in, uh, in, in real life? What is this karma? Look at her go! <laughs> we, just, we just can't stop seeing her go! <laughs> oh god. Oh god, everything's dying around him. Come on world, help him! Throw him a bone! This feels so bad. I'm I, honestly, I love that it feels like it's he still got this. I actually love that he, he somehow has that feeling of uh, maybe I can pull through. But I mean, honestly, I'm gonna try to let him pull through. But remember, when my Violet gets like to a, to a high, um, man, look at those stunts. <laughs> That's unlucky, man. That's unlucky. I don't think I need to... I'm just going to provide defense buff to, to the Violet. Push him up. I don't... Man. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel really bad. Now she dies. Oh, actually I didn't crit. Either way, don't think I have to apple on this one. Alright. Come on, revive somebody. I think she can do it either on this turn or next. Oh, actually, I was wrong. It's not a very fast one. <laughs> Unlucky, my guy. I really feel bad for this guy. But either way, GG. <laughs> I don't know. On to the last match of today. All right, final battle of today. We're in a five win streak. Let's make it a six. Should be pretty fun, though. Debuff ban. Very, very good. I mean, I'm not sure if it's very, very good. It's just that... It's, it's a, I don't know. Am I getting blessed today? Like, I should have seen those hard control comps for now, like, right now. I even I haven't even seen, like, the, 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 the Ren, the Ren Niseria Cleaves. These are just weird days, man, we're living. Just very weird days. But I guess, I guess from what I figured out, uh, the most, the most safest way to draft, uh, Arya right now for me, it really is like this. Because those three units are pretty neutral overall. And if they go Violet, I still have a CR push uh, option and Violet. I mean, not Violet, uh, and Milim, so... Ruel, man. Is Ruel back in the meta? It's I'm kind of confused here. Is Ruel back in the meta? I mean, there's not much for CR push here. Should I bring... Should I bring the boys? Should I make the risk? Of bringing the boys. I will bring the girl. 
Because girl, girl is good into Landy and uh, the other one. I'm not sure if I'll bring the boys, though. I mean, there's no debuffs. I will bring the boys. Let's go. The boys! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Charlie Poo. You're the boys. I am kind of confused about... St I'm still kind of confused about that last match. It was a little bit weird. Please pick that. I would love that. I mean, I still am okay with that. I have enough cleanse to deal with that. Now that... Okay, he's, he's, he's going through too many things. There's the there's no point. Judge Casey would be a good pick. Violet would be an okay pick. But I think he's going to make a mistake here. Violet is a great pick. Question is, is it going to be enough of a pick? Because the Huayong needs to be extremely fast here for that Violet to really gain some ground. Yep, he's going to try. I mean, fair enough. It's a, it's a solid choice. It's all going to depend on, do I get priority? If I get priority, it's going to be pretty hard for him to, for him to deal with me. I did get priority. Unluckers. Unluckers. Because it is two Earth units, but then again, they're not alone, are they? And I do have some evasion uh, getting thrown my way. I will still push the Arya, because the anti-crit might be a saver against the Violet, because uh, she's going to take damage, right? And I don't have much sustain, so I do think uh, it's the best choice to do that. I'm going to give the best buffs right now. The fattest, donkest buffs. Uh... Does attack downing here do anything? I don't think attack downing here does anything. Except for the landy, actually. Yeah, maybe for the landy. Don't think I need immunity, so oh, please, please. Okay, landy. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that is almost dead. That thing is almost dead. Yep, also, that's not dying. Bubba, you might have just killed your, uh, your landy there. You, you, you might have just done that. He didn't do that, but he, he could have done that. I hope it's Bloodstone or something, because uh, this is really not going to hurt much. And it didn't. And that's the thing, like, any of my AoEs will kill that, unless he goes for S3 here, or S2. S3 is safer. Good, honestly, great call. S3 is a lot safer, but that Huayang is deado. Hua Hua is deado. Because this man is going to try his hardest to, uh, to S3, but he's going to lose attack buff, and it's really not going to hurt that much. Because I'm going to AoE and recover a lot of that HP on the, on the Ruel and the Hua Hua. There it is. As you can see, it really doesn't hurt that much. And here comes the healers. And then I'm going to kill something with the Charlie boy. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Hua reset because this is gonna give me permanent uh, CR push and attack buff, which is gonna be good for me. Now I could burn something here. I could go for a Hail Mary on this Violet, but honestly, I don't want to give me more stacks. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna go for the Ruel here. Very lucky dual attack. Again, why am I so blessed today? Don't know. Alright, good call. Ooh, gets enough, right enough to the S3. Now this one's gonna hurt a bit more. Going to hurt a bit more. But we're still okay. Gonna go for her. Ooh, that is some lucky, lucky stuff right there. That is some lucky, lucky stuff, honestly is. Because uh, going on the Violet would uh, make me take more damage and now I just don't take more damage. That's uh, pretty hot, and this uh, this then girl didn't look too god too 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 hot. So uh, I think she's gonna die very very soon here. Violet's gonna try his hardest to go on the on the girl. Whoo! Through evasion. What a boy! What a boy! Through evasion. I don't think I'm gonna burn here. I'm gonna just gonna go for the S1. Ah, dude, why am I so lucky today? Honestly, kind of fucking disgusting. I, I know you guys are used to me getting completely destroyed in most of my videos, right? But this is a bit too much. It's a, it's a bit too much. This guy this guy and the other guy, they're, they're going to have a little bit of a hard time. 
And I hit the violet. Holy fucking shit, can I stop? It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Don't do it. Guys, don't do this at home, man. Like, some players in this game don't deserve this much, like, fuckery, you know? Like, you gotta respect the game, but you also have to, you know, respect the game. And I think I'm disrespecting the game right now. I mean, do I go for the Violet? I mean, I'm gonna give him enough stacks, right? Actually, I wouldn't. But I'm still gonna go for the roll. There's no point uh, feeding the, the stacks more, right? Don't think there's a point. Unless I kill him! Oh, oh this guy is so sad. I've been there, Svenissimo? Svenito? I've been there, buddy. I have been there. Well, guys. I guess this is the life of a, of a banshee gamer in this current season. Just counter every single turn, never lose, and that's basically just how you win the game. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, it was a pretty fun one, and I truly, from the bottom of my heart, apologize to all the enemies I've been, uh, you know, going against today. If you are in the comments, please leave a comment, I will apologize sincerely and personally. Uh, this is no joke and I'm not being, like, it's not cynicism either, it's just... I really fucking feel bad for those couple two people that really got fucked in the ass by RNG. And I apologize, and I'm sorry, and I love everyone that watched the, watch this video, so I, I hope you guys keep watching, subscribe for more, leave a comment, I'll respond always. Love you all, hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.